Welcome back. Time to check out a variant of Eternal Blue exploit. I prefer to always use this one due to two different reasons. It showed to work more than the default Metasploit framework exploit, and it also has a little better options aimed at both 32-bit and 64-bit Windows systems. Nonetheless, we can read more about Double Pulsar right here. This is the official Rapid7 website, and here we can check out what exactly is a double pulsar, when it is used and when did it come out. So here it says double pulsar is an implant leaked by the Shadow Brokers group earlier this year that enables the execution of additional malicious code. So you can read right here, but you can also check out different websites in order to find out how exactly does the exploit work in case you're interested in that. But what's important for us in this video is how to run the exploit. Remember, we have no module in Metasploit framework for the Eternal Blue double pulsar. So we must download the exploit ourselves and import it in Metasploit framework. This will be a little bit of a longer video since there are a few things that we need to do to achieve this exploit. The first thing that we must do is install Wine. And what is Wine? Well, Wine is a program that allows us to execute Windows applications on Linux systems. Why do we need this? Well, it is required for Double Pulsar to run. To install it, we can run the following command. sudo dpkg dash dash add dash architecture i386 and then these two signs, which mean that we are going to add another command to this larger command, and that is apt get update and another command is apt get install wine32. So these are three separate commands, and in the last one, we're going to install the wine32. If you press enter and type in the password, this command should start executing. Now, if it tells you right here this, which is permission denied, then just copy this command without the sudo, enter the root terminal, by typing sudo su and then paste the command. Press enter and now it should start executing all of these three commands. Now I will control C this because I have already performed this. For you, just wait for this to finish and then proceed with the tutorial. And the reason why we are doing all of this is because we need to get wine directory with the drive C folder. And you might be asking, well, what is that and where do I even find it? Well, sometimes it won't appear after installation. So what we must do is install some Windows program. In this case, let's just go and install Python 2 for Windows on our Linux machine. Not because we need it, but because after we install it, our drive C folder will appear. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, hang on for just a second and you will see it after we install a Windows program. It is all required for our exploit to run. So navigate to this link right here, which is https www.python.org slash downloads slash release and then slash python-2714 and slash at the end. Here we should see this version of Python and what we are interested in from all of these versions is Windows x86 MSI installer. Click on it and click on save file. It will start downloading our Windows MSI installer and once it has finished, we want to go to the downloads directory and open terminal inside of it. Once it does that, we can run the command wine msi execute slash i and then the name of the file, which in my case and in your case will be python 2.7.14.msi. Just a small interrupt, this command that I just showed you, uh, make sure to execute it using root terminal. So don't execute it using our regular Mr. Hacker terminal, otherwise in most cases it might not actually work. So what you can do is you can just type sudo su, enter the password for your account and run the wine msi execute slash i and then the name of the file using root terminal. Okay. Let's go back to the video. Click enter. And this will start installing 
Python 2.7.14 as a Windows program. We want to click on next on every step. So next, 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 next. So this already exists. I will click on yes. And this installation should finish in just a few seconds. Once it is done, you can click on finish. And right now we should have our wine folder in the slash root directory. So if I go to the slash root directory, I need to go cd slash root. Let us just enter the root terminal and go to the slash root directory. If we type ls, it will be empty. Did we fail somewhere? Well, not exactly. Once installed, wine will be a hidden directory, which means its name will start with a dot. And by the way, to list all the files inside of a directory, including hidden files, we can run the command ls-la. And here are all the hidden files, including our .wine directory. Now, if you cannot see it, make sure that you run this command, which is wine msi execute slash i python 2.7.14 from the root terminal. Then just click on next, next, next steps, and you should have this dot wine folder inside of the slash root directory. Great. So if I go to that folder, cd.wine, here I will have drive C folder and some other folders as well. So everything works for now. Now that we got this ready, we can proceed to download our exploit. So go once again to the Firefox, open a second tab and type eternal blue double pulsar. And it will show up this first link, which is a GitHub link. We want to click on it. And since we already know how to install a GitHub tool, let's just do it real quick. We just want to copy this link right here. Go inside our terminal. Let's change the directory to the slash home slash Mr. Hacker slash desktop directory. And once again, I would advise you to run all of these commands using root terminal, otherwise it might not work. And type git clone, paste the command, and it should download the eternal blue double pulsar tool for us. Now, we are not done yet. We must do some modification in order for this tool to be able to open in the Metasploit framework. If I type ls and change to the eternal blue double pulsar, right here, we should have two interesting files. One of them is the Ruby file, which is the exploit itself, and the other one is this depths directory. Now, this is a directory once again, it is not a file, and you cannot really see that from the root terminal because different file types are not different colors. And that is the only problematic thing. But nonetheless, what we must do is we must copy these two files. So let's go with copy depths first to the user share metasploit framework modules exploits windows and then smb and here we can copy the depths directory and to copy a directory you just need to add dash r at the end so once again copying depths directory to the slash user slash share slash metasploit framework slash modules slash exploits slash windows and then slash smb click enter and it should copy the devs directory there we want to do the same thing with the eternal blue ruby file so copy to the same directory modules exploit windows smb and here we want to copy it just for this file you don't need to add the dash r since it is a file and not a directory okay great there is one more location that we want to copy both of these files. So I will just type once again the same command. Just this time I will switch the location to the slash root directory. So I will copy the depths in the slash root. Add dash r at the end. And I will copy the eternal blue to the slash root directory as well. Great. Now we should be ready to go. Let us open our MSF console. While this is opening, make sure that your Windows 7 machine is up and running and let us straight away check out the IP address of this Windows 7 machine by typing ipconfig 192.168.1.8 for me. And what we want to do once the Metasploit framework opens up 
is we want to navigate to our eternal blue double pulsar exploit. And remember, we put it inside of the Windows exploit and SMB exploits. So what we can do is we can type use exploit Windows SMB, type the name of the exploit, which is eternal blue double pulsar. So just type eternal blue underscore double pulsar. Click enter. And now we got our exploit imported in Metasploit framework. This is an exploit that we didn't have before. Let us show information for it. As it says in the description, this module exploits a vulnerability on SMB version 1 and version 2 protocols through Eternal Blue. After that, Double Pulsar is used to inject remotely a malicious DLL. Great. Let's also show options to see what options we got. And up here, we got quite a few of them. And keep in mind that all of them are required. Now, here it tells us that we need to specify the path to the depths directory. So it seems that I made a mistake before, I copied it directly to the root directory and we had to copy the entire file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a second terminal, enter the root terminal, go to the desktop of our Mr. Hacker account and copy this entire eternal blue double pulsar metasploit to the root directory. So copy eternal blue to the slash root. Make sure to add dash r because we're copying a directory and right now this path should be good and we should not really change it. We can just leave it right here since depths directory is inside of the eternal blue double pulsar directory and we just copied it to the root directory. So these two are good. Under the process inject it tells us right here name of the process to inject to and we must change to this process name right here for 64-bit machines. Since my Windows 7 machine is a 64-bit, I will type this name right here and I will change the process to inject since it is not set right here by default. So type set process inject and paste the name of the process and press enter. If your Windows 7 machine is a 32-bit one, you can leave this wlms.exe process to inject to. The R hosts we already know to be the IP address, so 192.168.1.8. The R port we are going to leave to 445. The target architecture, if your Windows machine is a 32-bit, you can leave it to x86. My is 64-bit, so I will set the target architecture to x64 the wine path and this is why we needed the wine for. We need to set the wine path in order for all of this to work. And right here it is set correctly. Remember our .wine folder is inside of the root directory and the drive C folder is inside of the .wine directory. So this is something that we will not change. Another configuration that we want to do is this payload options right here. It is currently set to Windows Meterpreter Reverse TCP. And remember, in one of the last few videos, I told you that this is a payload for 32-bit Windows. If your Windows is 32-bit, once again, you don't need to change this, but if it is a 64-bit Windows, I want to type set payload Windows x64 slash meterpreter slash reverse TCP. Show options once again. Everything seems to be good now. You can also show targets if you want to, just to see what are all the possible targets that you can attack with this exploit. And once you check all of that out, you can just type run. This will launch our Eternal Blue Double Pulsar exploit on the target machine. It might take a few seconds for it to work. And here it is. Our Meterpreter session is once again open. Exploit works successfully and we can once again run the commands on the target system. We can enter a shell and get its command prompt. If I type who am I, it says that we are the system level account. So we are the highest privilege account once again. Great. Now I know that you are impatiently waiting for us to cover this meterpreter shell and all of its commands as well as the post exploitation modules that we can run with it, but hang on for just a little bit more. We got two more exploits to cover and then we can proceed to creating our malicious files and using them as well as running post-exploitation modules. In the next video, we're going to cover an exploit 
called Blue Keep, which was discovered in 2019. See you there.